Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make your desktop a lot more useful by installing just a little system add-on called Geek Tool. And it's a system preferences pane and it can live in your menu bar as well. And it pretty much just adds things to your desktop that can make it more useful. It integrates really nicely and it's not very intrusive at all. So the Geek Tool webpage URL is pretty long so I've made a custom short URL for you guys and that is trdd.us slash geektool3 and that's where you can get to the Geek Tool download page. And the newest version is Geek Tool 3.0 and it's only a 5 megabyte download. So when you install Geek Tool, it's a system preferences pane, so it's going to pop open system preferences and it's going to install right into there. And you'll see it down in the other section, and right here it is, Geek Tool. So I'm just going to load this, and what you're going to see here is two different windows. So your Geek Geeklet settings and Geek Tool 3. Now you see here you have three different types of Geeklets, that's what they're called, file, image, and shell. And I can drag these from the icon onto my desktop. So I'll drag a file, an image one, and a shell one. I'm going to explain this to you here. Um, off to your right-hand side, you have the Manage Group sections. You can have different groups of Geeklets, I guess for different areas on your desktop if you wanted. And you have some options enabled. I can show it up in the menu bar, so it'll live right up here. And I can open the preferences and quit it and whatnot. And automatically check for updates, obviously. So now you have your three different geeklets on your desktop, each corresponding to something else. So first let's look at the file one right here. Uh, you can change a couple different things. You can name it, change the size also by dragging right here. So whatever you want, place it anywhere on your desktop that you feel necessary. And you can have it monitor a file. So let's say you want it to monitor the activity of your Mac. You can just look in here and you can choose a log file and it'll display all the information that's happening so you can kind of monitor everything. And then you can set the text alignment and the file encoding, background colors, fonts, everything like that. And it'll live just right on your desktop. And the next one is image. Now I can choose a URL to an image. So if one you have one that actively updates, let's say a radar image, you can set it as that and then have it the refresh interval to be maybe five minutes or whatever. So every five minutes you have the new radar. Or you can select a local path. So let's say I have something on my desktop that I want to use as the image that displays. I can do that and now you can see the image is in there. I can scale it up uh, to whatever I want and have it just like that. And the last one here is your shell. So what you can do here is you can do uh, specific commands and you put them in there and it'll show you different things as text. So for example, I have a couple different commands here. I'm just going to demo for you. The first one is the command to display the date. And uh, these are just some simple ones you can try out. There's more advanced ones and I'll show you where to get those in just a second. So here's one for the month. Now I'll just paste it in here and you can see it's just date plus percent B. And now if you look down in my little shell geeklet, it says May. And I can display a status feedback image. So it shows green that it's working. Uh, maybe I don't want that. And then, I, of course, I can set the font and the color. So let's say I want it in impact, uh, maybe 36. So now I have that set up, and I can do that. Now let's say I want to add another shell command here, and I want to grab the date command. So the, the day command is date plus percentage A. And now you can see it'll say Saturday. And of course I could change the font and different things for that too as well. So let's make that impact 24. Close that out. And you can see what I'm kind of doing here. I'm just making different things that work pretty well. Now if I want the specific date, I can put in this command. So date plus percentage lowercase d and it'll show me 7 and then you know once again change it to what I want so now I have a couple little things set up here and it will show me the date so I can configure these however I want them and place them wherever I feel necessary on my desktop and it's, it's kinda cool and now you can see I have that there now I could move these all over maybe in the corner if I wanted them down here 
and uh, set them all up with different fonts and different colors, sizes. And you can make something that looks pretty neat. Now, when I ex exit System Preferences, you'll see that these things are embedded on my desktop. I can't select them. I can't drag them around anymore. Um, same thing with the date commands out in the corner. They're there permanently until I, of course, I can change them or delete them when I'm back in System Preferences. And these things will update dynamically. Um, so when it becomes the 8th, it will change to the 8th. When it becomes the 9th, it will change to the 9th. When it's not Saturday anymore, it will change to Sunday, obviously. And, you know, June, you get the idea. You can do this with the time, um, with you know, and all kinds of stuff. And if you want more commands for this, right on the web page where you download Geek Tool, there is uh, another section here for more useful scripts. And uh, you get all these different, there's pages and pages and pages of different scripts um, you know, that you can put in for the shell commands and they will display different things for you. So for example, here is a quote of the day thing and you can see a little preview of it and then these are the Geeklet files you can download. Some of them just have the code that you can paste in. So a very neat and a very handy application. You can see here is just a quick demo. It doesn't look very good. If I took time to configure it and had a little bit of formatting there, I could have something that looks kind of cool down in my corner and it's something I can always see uh, and it makes your desktop a lot more useful instead of just a picture. And that's pretty much all there is to Geek Tool. Uh, it's very simple once you get the hang of it. There's tons and tons and tons of commands you can out there you can find um, with just that one web page. And that's pretty much about it. So I find this pretty useful and it doesn't take a lot of CPU power. It just kind of sits in the background and it's real quick access. Just look at it and say, oh yeah, that's, that's what's going on and then be on with your day. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.